Hey, it's Terry Gorry, and this is the Irish Law and Small Business Podcast. There was an interesting case in the Circuit Court in Tullamore last week. It involved a refinancing situation for a couple who were struggling to pay their mortgage and they entered into some sort of a personal insolvency arrangement. But there's a very significant decision by the judge in the circuit court and basically it's such a significant decision that if it's not appealed by Pepper and they haven't indicated yet, I don't believe whether they're going to appeal it or not. If they don't appeal it, however, it's possible that vulture funds uh, or vulture fund agents in Ireland may be put out of business by the court's mortgage ruling. And that's not just some political uh, spin. That's not somebody's wishful thinking. That's actually reported in the independent uh, Irish Independent there today or in the last few days uh, by Standard & Poor's. So Standard & Poor's is a credit rating agency which rates banks and rates debt and so on and so forth all around the world and would be very, very well regarded. They're actually warning that vulture fund agents may be put out of business by this decision of the circuit court in Tullamore. The world's biggest credit ratings agency, Standard & Poor's, S&P Global, said the decision of the Tullamore Circuit Court may leave the likes of Pepper unable to service mortgage loan portfolios. The ratings agency issued a note to investors in pools of mortgages sold by banks to vulture funds. It said that the ruling will encourage other so-called mortgage prisoners to seek similar deals. The judge in the case uh, approved a personal insolvency arrangement, a PIA, that will force mortgage service Pepper to grant a borrower couple a rate of 2.5% fixed for 25 years. Pepper had opposed the move. S&P Global said in its investor note, if this decision serves as a precedent, forcing third party services to provide fixed rates to PIA applicants, servicers may be unable to effectively service loan pools backing Irish re-performing securitisations. This note is essentially saying that forcing mortgage credit service firms to offer low fixed rates over long periods will destroy the loan sale business model in this country. If you're wondering about what the loan sale business model in this country has been, over the last 20 or 30 years, major lenders have sold off tranches, packages of loans to uh, so-called vulture funds and vulture funds have various firms uh, managing the wind down or managing the debt then in Ireland and some of those funds would be the likes of Pepper. There are others as well. We'll come to that in the middle or in a minute. The model involved banks basically selling non-performing mortgages to vultures with the administration of the mortgages handled by credit service or firms, firms like Pepper. The S&P said that a regional Irish Circuit Court recently approved a personal insolvency arrangement that included a provision for the borrowers to be offered a 2.5% fixed rate mortgage for 25 years. Servicers of re-performing loans do not grant fixed rate products and borrowers can't resort to refinancing elsewhere given their past three years history. So S&P are saying that vultures and the credit services cannot afford to offer low fixed rates due to their funding costs. Lower fixed rates for borrowers in Irish re-performing pools could lead to both liquidity stresses and interest rate risk due to a lack of hedging. So that's sounding the warning bell for the likes of Pepper and others. Up to 40,000 borrowers are trapped with vulture funds and are unable to move their mortgages due to past credit issues. If they are also given uh, or able to get low fixed rates from the funds, it would give them a lifeline to restructure their debts and keep up payments on their homes. But it would also force the vultures into a fire sale of their mortgage portfolios and destroy the business of servicing these loans for the likes of Pepper, Mars Capital and Start Mortgages. S&P said whilst the uptake of PIAs, as that's personal insolvency arrangements, has been relatively low, this ruling may encourage certain borrowers to avail of this option regardless of the legal uncertainties. This is despite the fact that vulture funds are understood to have bought books of distressed mortgages at discounts of up to 50%. This could be a game changer. It could be of significance, real significance for people who are struggling with debt and it could be of real significance 
for the likes of Pepper, the likes of Mars Capital, the likes of Start and anybody else that is managing books of loans that were sold by the likes of AIB, Bank of Ireland, Permanent TSB, Ulster Bank or whoever. Pepper had told the court it does not offer fixed rates, a situation that means thousands of its clients are stuck on tracker and variable rates with some as high as 8 and 9%. The significance of this decision from the Circuit Court in Tullamore is that Pepper has been ordered to give a fixed rate of 2.5% to this couple over a 25 year period and this basically means that vulture fund agents may well be put out of business by the court's mortgage ruling. It remains to be seen whether it, the decision is appealed or not, but this is a case that needs to be followed very, very carefully. This decision, if it's not overturned, may have huge significance, and that's not just uh, my view, it's not just a political view, it's not just an ideological view, it's actually the legal position and the financial position that the these outfits simply cannot continue or could not give on a grand scale money uh, at two and a half percent to uh, people in difficulty over 25 years hope you find this video useful if you do i'd appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below and you may be interested in subscribing to my youtube channel if you are just hit the old subscribe button down below and uh, hit the bell icon and you'll be notified every time i upload a new video thanks a lot